friends, it's Miss Emily from the Learn and Play Montessori team. Today, I have a little challenge for you. I would like to find out if you could blow up a balloon. Do you have a balloon handy? Let's try. How might we blow up a balloon? I know, I'm going to use my mouth and I'm going to blow up a balloon. Wow, we did it! My goodness! Now, let's try to make this challenge a little bit harder. I wonder if you can blow up a balloon without using your mouth. We might need a few extra things for this challenge. Let's take a look at what we might need to use. Uh-huh. I have a bottle of vinegar right here. Let's have a smell. Oh, yes, that definitely smells like vinegar. Do you have your bottle of vinegar too? Let's see, what else could we use? Huh, some baking soda. We might use this in the kitchen when we're making a cake. <gasps> baking soda. Hmm, what else do I have here? An empty bottle. And I have some measuring cups. I have a very large one cup. And I have a little smaller one third of a cup. We're going to use all of these things to blow our balloon up. It's really scientific. Let's begin. We're going to use empty bottle and we are going to pour some vinegar inside. We will pour one large cup. Now you might need a little bit of help with your pouring but if you can do it by yourself that is fantastic. Let's pour our vinegar. Okay I've got my one cup full of vinegar. I'm going to use my funnel now. I'm going to put it top of my bottle and this will help me pour the vinegar inside. It will help me to avoid any spilling. In it goes. My vinegar is inside my empty bottle. Hmm, my bottle is not empty anymore. Now we need to put some baking soda into our balloon. This time we're going to use our smaller one third of a cup. Let's get that now. All right, I've got my one third of a cup of baking soda. All right. My one third of a cup is all filled up. Now it's time to put it into our balloon. I'm going to use my funnel again to help me put it inside. You might need an extra pair of hands when you're doing this, just to help you keep things steady. Let's pour it inside and give it a little shake and a squeeze. There we go. Ooh, I can see it's all going in. Now I can feel my balloon is filling up. If you feel like your balloon is getting too full, then you might have some baking soda left over. All right, I think I'm going to stop there. I still have a little bit of baking soda left in my funnel, but this is no worry. We can just put it back into our baking soda box. Okay, enough baking soda in my balloon. I'll put my funnel right there. 
now it is the exciting part. I wonder if this is going to help us to blow our balloon up without using our mouth. Hmm, let's give it a go. First, we're going to gently put our balloon end over the mouth of our bottle, just like this. And second of all, we're going to hold onto the balloon and we're going to gently lift our balloon up so that the baking soda falls into the vinegar. Are you ready? Let's give it a go. Ready, steady, lift! Oh, I can see something happening! Whoa! My balloon is blowing up! Look at that! I can feel a little bit of action inside here too! There's even some bubbling coming out. Whoa! Look at that eruption! Has your balloon blown up too? So what just happened in that experiment? Well, mixing the vinegar and the baking soda together created a new gas called carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide floated up, up, into the balloon, making it inflate, or making it blow up. Well, now you know how to blow up a balloon without using your mouth. From everyone at the Learn and Play Montessori School, see you next time.